filament circuits supply, a low voltage AC power to, X-ray filaments. The filament gets heated up due to heating effect of electrical current. Electrons of filament gains, thermal energy with increase in filament temperature. Those electrons, who have achieved, a thermal energy, more than filament metal work function, are liberated from the filament. If one increases, filament current, more electron will flow inside X-ray tube, and more will be the tube current. Let's discuss filament circuit in details. An AC voltage of 8 to 12 volts can help 4 to 8 amperes of current to flow through filament. Let's consider 240 volt AC power supply as our input mains supply. We need to reduce this 240 volts AC to 12 volt AC. A step down transformer helps to achieve this voltage change. Core of the step down transformer is made out of a laminated alloy of iron. Primary winding is done in one limb of iron core. Secondary winding is done in other limb of iron core. As per transformer law, voltage at secondary of a transformer, Vs equals number of turns in secondary divided by number of turns in primary, multiplied by voltage across primary. Let there be, 20 times more turns in primary than secondary. So our turn ratio becomes 1 divided by 20. And voltage applied to primary of transformer is 240 volts. So we get 12 volts across secondary, or filament. This will result a current of, 8 amperes. Different body sites or, Diagnostic procedures need different tube current. For different tube current, we need to apply different filament current. To vary current in filament, we need to vary voltage across secondary of, step down transformer. But step down transformer has fixed turn ratio. The only way to have variable voltage at secondary is to, apply variable voltage to its primary. Variation in input voltage to primary is achieved by use of, an MA selector. MA selector, usually consists of, bank of resistors. Each resistor in the bank has a, fixed value of resistance. Let's consider when 50 ohm resistor is, switched. Now this resistor is, connected in series with, primary of step down transformer. Let there be a voltage drop of, 20 volts across the, resistor. The voltage available across the primary winding will be 240 volts minus 20 volts. Voltage across secondary winding will be turn ratio 1 by 20 multiplied by 220 volts, which is the new voltage across primary winding. We get a voltage of 11 volts to filament, which may help a current of, say 7.3 ampere. We have changed our, filament current by, use of a resistor. Let's switch to 100 ohm, resistor. Let there be a voltage drop of, 40 volts across the resistor. Voltage available across primary winding will be, 200 volts. Voltage across secondary will be, 10 volts. Let's say it lead to a filament current of, 6.5 ampere. Similarly, with switching of other two resistors, we can alter filament current to a certain value. Change in filament current, lead to different degree of, filament heating, which further leads to change in number of electrons, emitted from filament. More the filament current, more is the, tube current. As we are ultimately choosing, tube current, it is called MA selector. These resistors can cause, variation in tube current, in steps, not continuously, as their resistances vary, in steps of, 50 ohms. Variation of filament current in steps, is not helpful in, fluoroscopy. 
instead of a bank of resistors, a single adjustable resistor or Rio start, is used. The adjustable resistor gives, step less or, continuous change of tube current. But for other type of diagnostic procedures, where high amperage is, used at very short intervals, control of tube current is, achieved by use of, multiple resistors. So far we have discussed how to, vary tube current with, varying filament current. Let the filament current remain constant. But applied KV between anode and cathode is varied. The observed tube current will not be the same. The tube current increases as the tube potential increases. As the tube potential increases from 50 kV to 90 kV, the tube current increases from 450 mA to 550 mA. Now, the question is, why, kV affects tube current, and, how to make tube current independent of, applied kV. Consider this heated filament, emits electrons, thermionically. Thermionic electrons will, gradually gather to form, a cloud of negative charges, around the filament. At any point of time, in one hand, we will have, cloud of negative charges in the vicinity of the filament, and in other hand, electrons, ready to be emitted, thermionically. The electrically negative electron cloud will, push back or restrict, electrons which are ready to be emitted. More the strength of electron cloud, the stronger will be repulsion and, lesser will be, electron emission from filament. This is called, space charge effect. Electron cloud can completely stop emission of electrons. When KV is applied, electrons will start moving towards anode and, number of electrons in the cloud will reduce. If we compare for 2 KVs, 90 KV and 50 KV, strength of electron cloud will be less with 90 KV than that of 50 KV. So the tube current will be more with 90 KV. If we reduce filament heating, while 90 KV is applied, the electron emission rate will be reduced and, Tube current will be same as, that of 50 kV. That means, increase in tube current due to kV can be nullified by decrease in filament heating or filament current. So we need to make, appropriate changes in filament current with, tube potential or kV. Appropriate variation in filament current, with kV is accomplished by, use of a space charge compensator in the filament circuit. Space charge compensator is a, special combination of, transformers. As the applied KV increases, the selector moves towards left. And voltage in antiphage is, induced in the primary side of, compensator, which will reduce, voltage across secondary of, step down transformer or filament voltage. Lesser the filament voltage, lesser will be the filament heating. Decrease in filament heating will reduce, electron emission to, same extent as increased due to KV. And, tube current remains independent of, KV increase. When the applied KV decreases, the selector moves right. A voltage in phage or additively induced. This increases voltage across primary of step-down transformer will increase filament heating. Higher filament heating will increase electron emission to same extent as decreased by KV. This is how, space charge compensator compensates, decrease, or increase in, tube current due to KV changes. An unnecessary change or fluctuation, in filament voltage can cause, similar changes in X-ray tube current. Hence, voltage stabilization in an MA circuit is, very important. Fluctuations in mains supply is stabilized by, using an auto transformer, along with, line voltage compensator.
line voltage compensator can only manage voltage fluctuations in mains supply. It cannot deal voltage fluctuations due to exposure. An additional voltage stabilizer is used to manage fall in voltage during exposure. If the stabilizer is sensitive to frequency variations in the mains supply, on such occasion, a frequency compensator may be used. For X-ray tubes having two filaments, one being small and the other being large, each filament will have its own filament transformer. A focal spot selector is to be incorporated in the circuit for switching between the filaments. This is all about different components of a filament circuit. Please like, share, subscribe and keep all notifications on for updates.